How does it feel having your picture drawn? Huh? You feel like a star? How long have you been doing this? Um, this is my third year. Third year? You're very good. Do you do this year round? July the 9th, and, and Velma is in the kitchen right now, and she's cleaning up after a tremendous meal. And to anyone watching this, we are in, are we in Prestonville or Carrollton? Well, say Carrollton, that's where Carrollton. our mail comes. Okay. No, nobody really knows where Prestonville is. I'm not sure there really is a Prestonville. <laughs> Only we know where Prestonville is. <laughs> okay, there was a little little thrift shop I went to, so I guess that was it. And this is Connie, this is, this is who I was named after. Oh, and this is Jill, my cousin, who last time I saw her, she was a little girl and I was a teenager. <laughs> and this is Bobby. Good looking dude, ain't I? That's right. You are very photogenic, let me and tell you. And he's been around forever. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Your daddy grew up with him. Oh yeah, I bet oh, you yeah. got some stories about my dad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then Jill, you're living in Frankfurt. I was going to say Frankfurter and I realized that wasn't right. Which is the capital. Oh, gee, I, I think I probably knew that in fifth grade, but I you forgot know, now. Most people think Louisville is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I was telling the boys, my dad was born in Louisville the same year as Cassius Clay or Muhammad Ali, whatever you want to call him. And right. I keep telling my dad, hey, you're in better shape than he is, so you got to. <laughs> that's, that's, right, that's right, <laughs> Yeah. And this is their land. This beautiful yard here. 87 acres. Oh, she's throwing rocks. She's she yeah, she thinks that's pretty. And Annie thinks that we've become gypsies because all we've done is travel for the last few days. <laughs> hey Dan. Hi. Have you given away the secrets of your girlfriend yet? Come on, Dan, let's, let's talk about your girl. <laughs> Is she a blonde? He's denying it all the way. He seems to like 
tall, thin brunettes. Oh, well. good choice, son. Good choice. Yep. So that must say something about the way he thinks about his mother. <laughs> Nate? Nate, no more. No more. I took a picture of Bobby. Oh, I'd love to. Sure. Yeah. I'd love to. Okay, this is new, so I'm trying to figure out how to turn it off. Where, Mom, what do I do? Mom. Bobby and Connie's house. In Bobby's orchard. Where are they going out? You can have all you <laughs> Well, but I mean, basically, this is just a mountain. It's just, it's all yeah. rock. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Now, then, see, the soft spot, what soft spot there is, this is where the stream goes. Mm -hmm. you know, you know, over here, this rock is high over here than it is right here. Mm -hmm. But this, this will allow the water to wash it away. Is your creek low or does it normally run about like that? About like it. What's yeah. these cylinders in here? Those, those are some test cylinders. I, I, I had this bright idea of weighting down plastic around all my trees and stuff like that. Bad idea. <laughs> so I'm disposing of them. So they just mix right in there with yeah. the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hundred and twenty thousand bees live in those three. Well, actually, I got a name for it, Bobby's. <laughs> Bobby's. It, it, I love it. it. A, a, a subsidiary of, uh, of uh, Bobby's. There's 120,000 of those fellas flying around here doing his work. He's working, isn't he? Mm -hmm. He's walked all this. He, he's, he's seen more of this land than I ever did. Mm -hmm. But he hunted all of it. So, so Good so hunting up here? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and he likes his raspberry. He likes his raspberry. How long has it taken you to to get all of these um, orchards in place? About four years. Four, four maybe five years. Mm -hmm. Debbie's going to build that thing. Here, no, you got to eat the red one. Connie on this trip the whole time. No, Can't Annie. wait to get home because we're going to have big old red tomatoes waiting on us. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, just a little old plot of yeah, land just Frankie's. to see it grow and develop. There's a lot of oh, joy in that. Yes, Annie, Uncle no, Bob, no, no, get the red ones. We got these yellow and red tomatoes. Yeah. Striped tomatoes. I see. Striping. Striped. I never seen I don't think I've ever seen I had never I seen them. either. The yellow tomato is, there's a reason for the yellow tomato. They had them in Indiana. West I don't know what it is. There's, you know, there's some people that the yellow tomato is better farm for some reason. I, I don't know what it is, but they're... Come on. What is that about the yellow tomato? Yeah, and, and they, they actually make tomato preserves. Mm-hmm. We saw some of those in an Amish community a few days ago. Now, the Amish, they make anything. <laughs> they can. The Amish, they sell them out of birds, they sell them about four, six, seven miles or something. They take that pool truck and make something out of it. They're the most industrious people out of They sure are. Very efficient. Oh, yeah. Yes. Annie. No, honey, we're going to the back side. We're going to this side. Annie. Love the fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. 
I guess your great great grandfather Hi. lived on that Kentucky River down here in the boat, old John boat. He duck hunted from it. He's the only man could shoot a 10 gauge shotgun and not kick him out of the boat. A 10 gauge is like a cannon. Yeah, it's like being kicked by a but, horse. <laughs> but your your grandfather, Connie, whenever I got through shooting, he had to shoot the 10 gauge. Annie. Annie. How about a raspberry? Annie. Annie. How about a raspberry? She does. She's having fun over there. Come on, baby. Annie. But a raspberry. Annie.